Hey, Rams fans, wrapping up week two of the Gallagher games. It's women's volleyball's turn, and representing the team this week, we have Lauren Cluse and Logan Dantel. We'll see if they are indeed smarter than a fifth grader. Thanks very much for playing, ladies. And uh, we'll remind you of the rules real quick before we jump in. Uh, you have to answer two questions in each grade, first through fifth, and uh, if you earn more points as you go along. Uh, you will get to choose between two categories for each question of which one you want to answer. And you'll have 15 seconds. And uh, we have do I have one little caveat here. This is the only game of the competition where I do not know the questions ahead of time. It's a random draw. So you will have the option for one question if you choose to ask the host. That's myself. Uh, but if you ask me and you get, end up getting the answer wrong, maybe I don't know or I'm not sure, uh, you will lose that amount of points for that question. So use that at your own risk. So. If you're ready to get going, you can start with first grade and you have your choice of either art or reading. Oh, art. First grade art. Nice. True or false, murals are painted on walls. True. I'm going with true. True is the correct answer. It's also a good start. <laughs> Stick in first grade, we have math or science? Science. Normal science. Name the part of a tree that usually grows underground. A root. You have the roots. That's correct. Another 50 points for you. Yeah. 100. And moving on to second grade. Do you like geography or physical education? Physical education. When playing ice hockey, what are you trying to hit with your hockey stick? Puck. A puck. That's correct. Easy one there. Logan, yes. 100 points for you. We're up to 200. And one more second grade. We have geography or physical education. Physical education. All right, stick them with physical education. <laughs> Rings, vaulting, vaulting, and side horse are events in what sport? Gymnastics. Gymnastics is the answer. That is correct. Oh, good job, Lauren. Came to class. Yes. 300. And now we're moving to third grade. These ones bump up to 150 each. I'm sweating. No, I'm just kidding. You have your choice of math or geography. Math. Math. With third grade math. True or false? A perpendicular line is one that intersects with another to form a 90 degree angle. That is true. <laughs> true is the correct answer. 150 points. <laughs> the engineer is applauding in my We're name. Up to 450. <laughs> On a roll here. Third grade English or social studies? English. Going with English. Columbus sailed the ocean blue in what rhyming year? 1492. <laughs> that is correct. Yes. <laughs> Way to remember the rhyme there. I really did not know that. <laughs> 600 points. We're moving to fourth grade. Six for six so far. Wow. Logan, of math or Lord, you're doing amazing. Wait, math or what? Grammar. Ooh, math. math. <laughs> At the same time, both agree on math. Fourth grade math. <laughs> Which number is the denominator in this fraction? Three fourths. Four. Four. Four is the answer, that's correct. 200 points, we're up to 800. Got one more fourth grade to go. And your choice of math or social studies? Math. Sticking with math. True or false? Three is a factor of 10. False. False. False, false is the correct answer. Another 200 points. Up to 1,000 now. We're moving. Wow. To top level here with fifth grade. These are worth 250 each. Oof. You have your choice of science or math. 
Do you want to go science? Let's do some science. Yeah, okay. All right, we're going with science. True or false? Condensation is responsible for changing liquid water into water vapor. False. Going with false. False is correct. Yes. Yeah, that's, what? That's evaporation. Okay, yeah. I'm curious. Yes, it says evapor evaporation would be the correct answer in that situation. So we're at 1250, and you have a perfect game on the line here. All right, let's go, Logan. Don't jinx us. Don't jinx us. With geography or English? Oh, God. <laughs> let's go with... English? Okay. I feel like that's safe. Okay. English? All right, we got it. All right, fifth grade English. A sentence with enough material for two or more complete sentences is called a what? A run on sentence. What they run on sentence. That is correct. Yes, Logan. Perfect <laughs> game for volleyball. Perfect wow. 1,500 points. Making up some <laughs> ground in the game here. Uh, that puts volleyball at 3,000 for the competition. And they're 300 points behind men's bat, or excuse me, 600 points behind men's basketball. So closing the gap. It's a great job, Logan and Lauren. Thank you. Thank you.